my channel where I try to transform myself into celebrities that I love. Today's contestant is Pamela Anderson. Ooh, 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 ooh. Love Pamela Anderson. Icon, style icon, beauty icon, sex icon. And immediately out of breath. Like, while well, I'm just, I'm sitting, man. I'm sitting. I am sitting down. I've been watching Pam and Tommy. And although it's like super fucked up, what happened to her? What happened to them? And I think Lily James has done an incredible job of portraying her. And I guess as an accurate, as accurate of a light as Hollywood can. Anyway, here are my reference pictures. We're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna see if we can take Mr. Incredible and make him Miss Pam Anderson. Pammy. All right, let's get into it, I guess. Let me bring you guys in close. What comes to my face? That's a James St. James reference, if none of you got that. We're gonna go into my Charlotte Tilbury magic cream because my skin is desert dry. I'm really gonna channel Manny MUA. <laughs> Don't ask me why, he just, he just popped into my head. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. pore puttyless, poreless, puttyless, primerless primer. Everyone kind of raves about this stuff. I never know if primers work on me because I'm just greasy all the time. It's my world and y'all are living in it. So I'm gonna make the choices I wanna make and y'all can't come on my channel and tell me which things in my world. So we're just gonna do the bees. Maybelline Fit Me. I use these two, one in fair and one in um, ivory. One in white and one in a little whiter. I take my Patrick Star one size powder, make sure to get it absolutely everywhere. Make sure to spill it everywhere. I do a little one of these, powder reveal. With these extensions, I am Kylie Jenner. Like actually, you've never seen someone look more like Kylie Jenner. I'm just gonna powder everywhere because I'm greasy. Where my Drew Phillips stands at? Hi, greasies. Right, now that your powder's and ready. Let me look at my little reference photo. Just like the thinnest eyebrows you've ever seen. So let's do it. Stop! Okay. I look back at pictures of myself. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do, if you guys can see. I'm literally just gonna brush up and brush down and make them the thinnest they can possibly be. I'm actually gonna brow gel them. Ew, it's gonna look so goopy because I have powder everywhere. Goop girl. Goop. Huh. Mm. Um, I'm glad thin eyebrows are making a comeback because bitch, thick eyebrows did not look good on me. I'm gonna manipulate those with my fingers because I don't give a fuck. I make the rules, this is my channel. Should I just pluck them really thin? I know I could have like Elmer's glue sticked my brows, but I'm not, like I'm, my level of commitment is not that. Like I'm doing this so I can do it every day. I'm not gonna do that every day. You know what I mean? So let's wait for that to dry. This smells like pickles. Okay, and now let's do it. She has a very round shape. Let's see what we can come up with. Realized I was mouth breathing, super embarrassing. Shut my mouth really quick. That's gonna have to do. <gasps> okay, next step. Let's um, bronze this face up a little bit. I'm just gonna shape my face like hers. So instead of my hot dog bun cheek, I'm gonna go the more traditional route. Cause I usually just like, ooh, all over my cheek with the bronzer, but I think I'm gonna be more specific with it. This is Charlotte Tilbury as well. <sighs> Thank you. I'm honestly worried for you guys because like, what if I actually end up looking like Pamela Anderson and I really scare some people? How do those people who do facial transformation videos on TikTok and Instagram, you know, where they like make themselves look exactly like Captain Jack Sparrow or like whatever. How do they do that? Like what shading am I not using? Like, is it a certain color of contour or is it not even contour? It's just like, I really don't know. I have no idea. She's got the cutest little nose. I'm gonna try to warp this schnoz into what I think it should be. Open the door or I'm gonna throw rocks at your window. Yeah. My new favorite thing is when something happens, I say, sweet Lord, sweet Lord almighty. It's funnier in my head, it's funnier to me. I laugh. If there's one person that's gonna make me laugh, it's me. This will work, using this one. This, my Morphe M431. <sighs> this is what we've got. I just, that looks nothing like how I really want it to, so I actually might have a freak out. Okay, for blush, it's a very pretty 
pinky. Shit. I just went to go get this from my bathroom and forgot that I pooped in there earlier and it smelled so f***ing bad. Even after like 20 minutes, dude. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Trixie Bottle Bomb palette and I use this. It's called Me Day. I use that as blush. Cause I'm inventive, inventive, forward thinking. So I did put too much and it's fixable. And that is cute and you can't lie. She has a little highlighter under her eyebrows and on her nose. Cute, loving it, living and loving what we're seeing. All right, let's get started on the eyes. Ugh. Okay, so this is looking gunmetal gray all over the lid, but in a lifted way. So we're gonna try that in our own little Britney V. I'm gonna put a little dot here, here. And I'm gonna start carving. And I just pre-did that because my eyes are super round. And it never, when I put a full color on my lid, it never turns out how I think it will because I forget how big my eyes are and how they protrude. All right, I'm gonna powder under here because this fallout is gonna be something crazy. Using this palette, Buxom Ash Holmes, and I'm just using the black from it. Begin. And we're done, thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, now I'm gonna take a transition shade, which I should have done before, <laughs> and buff around here. Hey, how that looks. Okay. Okay, I think I am okay with the top, and I'm gonna fix the bottom now with just a little angled brush. <sighs> mouth, mouth breathing again. Okay. It looks like she has some purple on in one of these. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple. Can't even tell. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Ooh, like that. Loving that. Loving that a lot. Very beautiful. Add some sparkle. Add some dimension. Add the gunmetal gray I was going for in the beginning. Loving living how this is turning out. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe. This is definitely a look for like small eyes. Small eyed girls, this is for you. This is not for me, okay? I'm gonna finish it and give it a fair go and rating. Okay, we're definitely getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere. That somewhere might be the trash can because I look like a raccoon, all right? Gonna rub my grubby little hands all over some garbage junk food, go dissolve some cotton candy in water. You already know the vibes. You already know exactly the vibes that I'm on. And yeah, by the way, if I didn't say it, Sebastian Stan is sexy. And I've been resisting that for a long time. There was a big thing for Sebastian Stan on Tumblr way back when. And I just kind of was adjacent to it. I never really was like in it, but I get it now, dude. I, I'm 100% right there with you. This is a lot, but I do have big eyes. So keep your opinions to yourself. Unless they're nice, then let me know. I'm gonna add a lash. Nothing too wild or spectacular. Just a little baby lash. Mommy loves a lash. Baby's first lash. Me think something like this. Yeah, all right, go on then, have a little go. These are by Boldface. I end up mixing them up. I don't know what the style is because I get drunk and like rip off my lashes and don't return them to the original case. And then I travel and I'm just like scrambling for any lash. The truth of the matter is I have a small mouth. Okay, so my initial thought was I'm just gonna overline the f out of my lips, but dude, my lips, my mouth is small. So if I overline my lips, I still have a small mouth, really at a disadvantage. Beautifully done, beautiful execution, again by yours truly. F me, mate, forgot my mascara. This is just something to coat my lashes. We all know that mascara does not work on my chode lashes that point down. Where the f did I just put my damn lip liner? Where the hell? What the hell? Okay. No, no. <laughs> no, no. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't need to fix this. You cheeky little c This is Iconic Nude by Charlotte Silbury. Let's see how it looks. Okay, just add a nude lip. This is Gigi Good and Christian Audet. Okay, I don't hate it. I, I really don't hate it. Okay, I think I'm ready to go try the hair. So let's go. Okay, so this is gonna take me a really long time. So I'm gonna listen to music, so I'm gonna hand it over to voiceover Britney, but we're gonna make this kind of short. Voiceover Britney, take it away, as you do. Hello guys, it's me, Voices of Britney. It's another episode of YouTube Won't Let Me Listen to Nicki Minaj. 
on my page. So I'm just gonna brush um, the braids out and my nasty bangs. I blue drew, blue drew, blow dried my bangs off camera. I'm doing a little dry shampoo moment. <gasps> my, I'm so tired at this point. My curling iron is set to 360 degrees because I don't want to like burn the shit out of my real hair, even though like the human hair extensions can take it. My real hair can't. So what I'm doing basically is curling it, holding it for a second, and then throwing it back. A bad, bad bunny, bunny on Spotify. A bad bunny and Nicki Minaj collab. Think about it. And you know what? She has a point. <laughs> I'm so smart. Look at this little Sher Shirley Temple Shirley Central. Am I having a stroke? Look, throw it over the shoulder. You're done. You're done. And then I did the whole side of my head, and then I did the whole, imagine this, other side of my head. Um, and I do all the curls facing away from my face. Um, I've seen it where you can like alternate it and it makes it really big and fluffy and bouncy. I like the all back look. Burnt the shit out of my hand here. And then um, after I curl it, I brush it out. Look at that. Oh, so now I just toss my head over my whatever. And then I'm gonna like brush it out with my fingers. <gasps> And then it's the fun part. You get to mess with it, tweak it, move the pieces around how you want it. Um, in all good Southern hair care tips, I hairspray the shit. Ooh, feeling my leg I was feeling myself. <laughs> You hairspray the shit out of it so it doesn't move in the wind. Um, so I take my big thing of hair, hairspray and then I just spray everywhere. So if you blew an industrial fan on me, that hair ain't moving, baby. It's not moving nowhere, girl. I think it came out pretty well. I am missing a leather corset. You will not be seeing me in a leather corset. Also, I'm Drew Barrymore. That's amazing. I think this came out pretty gorgeous. Feeling hot, sexy woman. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you a lot. Goodbye.